What's up you guys, this is Off Topic Games with another deck profile for you guys. Uh, it's a weekly Wednesday, so we have Beast Deities as you can see here. Uh, I recently played this deck in a for fun kind of-ish tournament. Uh, this deck needs something, I'm not too sure what it is, but hopefully we'll get it in the Revival Collection. Uh, but for now, uh, what this deck has, I'll show you guys now. For our starter, we run Beast Deity Riot Horn. If you're familiar with the Nova Grappler cards, it's Aaron Bowl, but not GB and Beast DD specific. Uh, basically, when another card in the same column as this unit stands with Beast DD in its card name, you uh, stand this unit. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say about this card. Um, it's it's good. Uh, next, we run for our grade threes. Uh, we have three uh, strongest Buster Extreme. Um, I'm not too sure if the other deck has four. It's a very good card though. It's a cross right if you have the Ethics Buster in your soul. It has the Lord ability and Limit Break 4 when this uh, unit drive checks a grade 1 or greater card. With Beast Deity, it's De Beast Deity in its card name, choose one of your Nova Grappler rearguards and stand it. So pretty good. It's a pretty good skill and uh, that's really all I can say about it. Uh, 2 Reverse, uh, also a cross ride for Ethics Buster. Uh, and then you can counter blast two, uh, choose two cards from your hand with BC in his card name and discard them. Uh, you choose two of your Nova Raptor rear guards and lock them. Until the end of the turn, this unit gets, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked the Vanguard, you can stand this unit and then this ability cannot be used until the rest of the turn. So it's really just good when you break right over it because you get multiple attacks, you get the rear guard swinging, both rear guards swinging twice. Uh, not including other effects, and you get this card swinging twice as well. And there, this card is 21k minimum, or 23k uh, swinging twice minimum. So it's uh, pretty cool if you get it off, but otherwise it's not the best. Uh, next we have two, it's also very costly, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Uh, next we have three uh, Beastie Ethics Buster, it's the Break Ride. Uh, so Limb Break 4, uh, when you're... Nova Grappler rides over this card. Uh, that unit gets plus ten thousand, and then when this, when that unit attacks the Vanguard, uh, you stand all of your Nova Grappler rearguards in the front row. Oh, sorry. So I actually lied about this card. Um, so it's only it's whenever the card attacks, right? So you do this. Uh, so swing with the rearguards first. Swing with the Vanguard. Both rearguards stand. The Vanguard stands. Stands. Then you swing rearguard, rearguard again, and then this unit attacks, and then both rearguards stand again. So it's not it's not f six attacks it's eight attacks right two four six seven eight yeah yeah so it's eight attacks which is even better so it's very strong with a break right if you can get it off sorry about that guys uh next for our grade twos we run four beastie the jackalord um again if you're familiar with the nova Rapper related cards it's kind of like what's his name shoot uh it's like that 11k Kind of blast one, soul blast one for Victor. Uh, but what it does is on call, you it's not GB, so that's better. But on call, kind of blast one with uh, Beast in his card name. When this unit attacks, uh, when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, it, this unit gets the effect once per turn. Auto, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, choose up to one of your other rear guards with Beast in his card name, stand it, and it gets plus 3000 until the end of the turn. So basically the same as that one other card that I mentioned earlier, but it, unfortunately it's a 9k and it won't get power, but the other card will get power, so it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's very good early game. Next we run 4 Hydra Chaos, it's a 12k attacker. Uh, we really don't like the other one that stacks, but it's not inherent. So there's a 9k, I believe, gra uh, grade 2 that gets plus 3000 whenever it stands. I really don't like the card. Because I'd rather prefer like the consistent plus 12k or 12k attacker. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I'm not too uh, knowledgeable about the entire deck and its concepts behind it, but I do like the consistent 12k. So that's why there's four in the deck. Yeah. Uh, next, we only run two Papio. Uh, this card right here would be the third one, but we don't have a third one at the moment. So it's two Papio. Uh, it's r very good on ride skill. And I guess pressure rearguard skill. But what it does is counterblast one uh, Beast Deity in this card name. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, 
if you have a Nova Grappler Vanguard, or sorry, when it hits, you can counter blast the Beast Davy, right? And then if you do, you choose one of your other Nova Grappler Vanguards and stand it. So very good. It's like a, it's an on hit grade two skill, not GB. It's an, it's and it works on Vanguard, so it's pretty nice. Uh, they would be three, but there isn't. Uh, this card we run instead is a auto counter blast one. When this unit stands during the battle phase, you may. If you have Vanguard with Beast in this card name, you pay the cost. If you do, you choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards with equal to or less power than this card and retire it. So it's not a bad card, but uh, I think that you should try to not care too much about controlling as you do about killing, because this deck already has a hard time killing because it's not as strong as Victor. So you kind of want more pressure and... Uh, uh, less time like trying to control the field more so than you want to do killing them and spend counterbass for power plays like restanding. Uh, so next for grade ones we run four uh, PGs. They're the Beast Deity ones because Beast Deity is pretty... Uh, it's a Beast Deity deck and you kind of need like Beast Deity cards and drive checks and rear guards and damage zone and stuff. So that's why you run that. Uh, we have three stride fodders because striding is very important but uh, it isn't a beast deity, so we're running three at the moment. Uh, that's really all there is to it, but it's it's good because it's stride fodder. Uh, three limb break enablers because limb break is all the grade threes. Uh, it's pretty nuts if you get it off turn one and stuff because it does go off, so it's pretty good. Two max beat. Um, so just as a note, we don't really know how this deck is supposed to be built too well or optimally, but we're trying to tr we're trying it out. It's not very competitive, right? But we're trying to get it there, I guess, as much as possible. But uh, this card, uh, we run it because I actually really like it. Uh, even though the other cards could do it for you, but sometimes it doesn't, so it works out. Uh, this card is Beast Deity. Kind of one card with Beast Deity's card name. When this unit during the battle phase stands, uh, if you have a Nova Grappler Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other Nova Grappler Vanguards or Rear Guards and stand it. So very good. Uh, you don't have to target Beast Deities, but you need to Blast Beast Deity. Yep. Uh, next we run two Horned Hulk. Uh, this is a very interesting card, but I actually really, really like it. So what it does is Soul Blast one card with Beast Deity in its card name, uh, and then rest this card. If you do, you choose up to one of your other units with Beast Deity in its card name, and it gets plus 5,000 to the end of the turn. So it's kind of like a mediocre skill. But you can put this behind the Vanguard at any point in time because when you're striding, Vanguard boosters don't really matter. And then just give another unit plus 5, and then normally they'll stand right. So if you put it on Hatred Chaos, it'll swing 22 before uh, you stand it, and then it'll swing 22 again or more if you get triggers and stuff. So this card is actually pretty good. Uh, also, if you're on Reverse and you have the Nut, you rest it, Soul Blast, Give some pump it up and then you lock it because you have to lock something right so you lock the rest of the card and it's pretty cool uh next for our triggers we run four heals specifically beastie because it matters and because we want a g guard four beastie crit because beasties and crits three red lightnings uh it's red lightning we don't, there's i don't think there's any other beastie crit so we are running red lightning currently it unflips and soul charges, so it's nice and it has an effect. Uh, lastly, we run five draw triggers. Four of them are the Beast Deity draw triggers, because it's you need advantage or else you just get run over. Um, you kind of have to sack your way to win a bit because you need the cards to call and to go off, and then one more draw trigger. It's not Beast Deity. Uh, for our strides, it's almost the same as the Victor deck. Just we have this card. Uh, so what it does is, it is a uh, first stride that's very good because it flips over anything. Uh, we're only running two of it, two of it by the way, but uh, what it does is, once per turn you choose any card, turn your face up, and then it gets the skill auto. When this unit drive checks, reveals a grade 1 card with beast in its card, grade 1 or greater card with beast in its card name, you can stand a rear guard. Uh, and then if you have two or more of this card face up in your G zone, that unit gets plus 3,000 until the end of the turn. 
So obviously we can't do the plus 3,000 because we don't have enough. And uh, we don't feel like we can even get there. Because normally you don't want to try the second. And flip over himself. Normally you flip over Buster to set up for next turn. Uh, when you first stride this guy. But he's very good because it's a very solid first stride. And it sets up for next turn. And it also stands a bunch of things. So it's pretty good. Uh, next we run to Victor. Because Victor is uh, just a general strong card. It doesn't. It makes it so you don't have to commit. Uh, basically, you act skill flip over this guy. It gets the on hit skill like Vic Den, where if you hit, you stand the guy and give it plus five. And then GB three, when this unit just attacks, it stands the unit gives that unit plus five. So it's pretty solid. We're running two of it, and yeah. Uh, we're running four Bustard because Bustard is nuts. Uh, again, this deck isn't super competitive. So, like, Buster dies to a bunch of random things, like Link Joker and Kagro, but Buster is Buster, so we run it. Uh, what it does is, Counterblast 1, once per turn, uh, you choose anything and turn it face up. Uh, when And then, when this unit attacks, you, uh, so auto scale you do that, the Counterblast 1, and then turn anything face up. And then you stand as many units as this card face up. And then if two or more cards were standard with this effect, you this card gets the skill, auto, counterblast one, uh, choose two cards from your hand, discard it. At the end of the battle, this unit attack, you may pay the cost. If you do, you stand this unit, and then it gets drive check minus two. So it stands at like one to two things, to three things, and then you stand itself. Uh, but also, sorry, a restriction on this card is you need a full field. So that's why it's very uh, hard to do, because if you're playing against Cargo, they can just Denial Griff in it, or Defeat Flare it, or if you're playing Link Joker, they can Freeze Ray it, or just lock anything in general, and it doesn't work. Which kind of sucks, but you know, it's it's hard. It's hard life when you're an Overgrappler sometimes. Uh, next we have four Vic Plasmas uh, in here for the Link Joker matchup, and Vic Plasma is very strong. Uh, we also run four because you can Vic Plasma first turn by counterblasting four and flipping two over. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Big Plasma is just a pretty strong card in general, so we're running it. Uh, so that is 12, and now for our G-Guards, like the Victor deck, uh, we are running to Blue Prison. Uh, he gets plus 5k if your damage is higher or equal to your opponent's, not very good because you're playing Nova Grapplers, but whatever. Because you're playing Nova Grapplers, it might also mean it's good, but it's not really that good. Uh, huh. One Dismal because your regards are somewhat important and it's Dismal is just a good card. And one Screw because plus 10k is pretty nice. So until we get new G-Guards for Nova Grapplers, this is what we're running. Uh, you can also run a Gleam if you want or more Dismal or something else. Uh, but this is currently what we're running. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this deck. Uh, not very competitive. Uh, it does need a bunch of support. Uh, hopefully we'll see that in the Revival Collection. But if you like open the nut, then you it's possible that you'll win. Um, anyways, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, as always, you can like the video and subscribe to see more content. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section down below. Uh, request a matchup or another deck profile or something that you want to see that we may or may not have. Uh, if we don't, we will let you know. And if we do, we can try to get it up as soon as possible. And uh, yeah. As always, Facebook and Twitter, links are in the description below. Uh, if you haven't seen already, we are, if not already, close to a thousand. So uh, if it hasn't been posted yet, please check out the giveaway that may or may not be happening right now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later.